guys what's up my name is Cara Pedaza and welcome or welcome back to another video today I'm going to be sharing with you all of the books that I've read in August fortunately or not <laughs> I read only three books because uh as you guys saw in my last vlog I was a little bit busy um, hopefully in September I'm going to read a little bit more but I mean two out of those I really enjoyed so I am happy and yeah and also two out of those were require reads so so yeah i'm going to be talking about all of them and i think it's going to be a rather quick video if i don't do that so at the end of the video i am going to be talking a little bit about books that i am hopefully planning to read in september and yeah let's go this one is gonna go like super quickly because i don't really remember a lot of it and i didn't enjoy it but it's completed out by gimara and Salda. i did not like this book uh it was like the first book i finished i finished on the sixth and like how can i say that I did not like it. <laughs> um, it took me three months to read a 120 page book and it's because it's one chapter long. It does not have any chapter division whatsoever and it's honestly boring. I did not understand half of what was happening in this. So like, and I don't think I'll under I would understand even if I tried so like I, uh, what's the point you know. I did listen to half of it on audiobook because I couldn't like no um and it wasn't a pleasant experience at all so it did kick off the month in a in a very bad start and i gave it two stars i am sure that if i actually i'm not sure but maybe if i like sat down and you know enjoyed the book i could have had a more pleasant experience but i do not and i did not enjoy it so i guess this just part of life that's our first two star i the thing is that i don't even remember the book i did not understand anything of it so maybe if i did understand my experience would have been different but i did not understand anything about it i did not understand the story i cannot tell you a single thing that happened in that book no like from page 40 on i cannot tell you a single thing about it um and honestly that's not my that i don't think i am the issue this one is Alizaga by Confucian Evaristo. As you can tell, both these books are national um, literature. And this one, both of them, again, I had to read for uni exams. Um, and this one is a collection of short stories talking essentially about the experience of black women uh, or just the black community in Brazil. It discusses so many themes and it's just honestly really good. I think that this look here reminds me of Helium by Rudy Francisco, which is why did I say Francisco like this? It was a, it it did remind me on the way that the themes were were um talked about and in the very similar themes. So I don't I don't even know if that's what this book's translated to any language at all. And it was very good. But at the same time it is very brutal like there were moments that i just had to stop and read and just and just you know stop again it is a 140 and 14 page book so it's not supposed to take really long to read especially because it is short stories but like we start reading it and some of the short stories are just like wow i don't know i just think that a lot of them resonated with me and it was great to study and analyze it and i'm honestly very happy that i read this i honestly just wish i knew someone who read this so i can talk to them about it but it just sounds it's it's just very good and i give it five stars i don't think i'm doing justice talking about this book right now like i think that the way that i'm talking about it is kind of lame and it's not doing justice to how amazing this book is but i really really enjoyed it and i think that a lot of people would as well next one is a book that i really just read like this chunk of it in a day because i had dnf'd it and let me just show you how how look at how smooth this looks with do you see do you see what i'm seeing it is eva eva green's magical witch by julie ob or abe i don't know right now i don't really know how to pronounce that to be entirely honest but this is about a girl called eva eva green and she is 12 and she has basically until her 13th birthday to become a novice witch and she is her mother's apprentice and she's just going through she's going to try to get her novice certificate i guess and to do that she has to go to another city and be there for one moon and help the city in some sort of way and then 
you know the mayor have to kind of give them feedback and be like she was a good witch so that the council can approve her but the thing is that she is she's not a regular witch she is semi-magical because her father is not a wizard it's not a witch so he it, it's kind of like there's been a huge doubt about the fact that whether is she going to you know be able to perform magic and she kind of has this thing that is quite adorable that she falls asleep whenever she uses overuses her magic so it's just this middle grade tale of this girl going to the city and trying to prove that you know having a pinch of magic is enough and i really enjoyed it i do want to do a post on my instagram talking about this book because it was so cute and adorable and there are a lot of quotes that i you know i'm gonna take them to heart and honestly just just what the author says like this story is for you reader because you're magical dream wildly and know that your pinch of magic is more than enough for eugene my light and storm it is just honestly very cute i really enjoyed it um is the duology so i am very excited to read the second one this book <clears throat> is way too long <laughs> like i don't think it should be 400 pages like this book could have been shorter i don't know why it's so long um especially when you consider this for kids from age like 7 to 12 i guess and i'm like um i was a huge reader when i was like but i was probably not gonna read all this this jump nothing happens and i got stuck here for a month so like that's that's not nice you know i should that shouldn't have happened but it did so i mean yikes but i am really happy that i finished it and i was very excited to finish oh my god my books are so dusty I am happy that I finished it and I am very excited to pick up the sequel and it's very adorable so if you do know a local resident child <laughs> to read this for them they might enjoy it. As in for books that I want to read this month I don't really have a set list because how can I say this um honestly I've been a little bit too busy to just worry about making a tbr because i don't really follow it it's funny because i always make tbrs and then i never follow it so it doesn't really make a lot of sense but i guess that this month i do want to do isaac's um challenge i mean it's not a challenge but anyways reading some some of the books that isaac read in heartstopper season two because there are way too many of them and i'm not gonna read all of them but i do plan on choosing i mean four i guess of them for me to read and figure out whether Isaac does have good taste. I believe he does because I mean he read Love is a Hobby in one week. I haven't written that book for four years and I still haven't finished it so like kudos to him. So yeah I do plan on reading some of the books that he read and oh my god I went through to figure out which books were from like the shots because I did not search them like I had to go into every shot and it was a hassle, but I did it, so I'm very happy about it. My beautiful uni books, which I am very excited. I mean, I'm not excited about anything. I am excited for them to be over. <laughs> for me not to have to read them. And I guess the Babel and Song of Silver F Flame, like, Night. Because I haven't been doing my TBR for a month, and I haven't finished them. And I don't know, maybe I can pick up, like, I really want to pick, pick up some thrillers. Especially Fantasy G, um, a Good Girl's Guide to Murder series um, during fall season. So maybe balance these two. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you didn't, make sure you give a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will see you on my next one. Bye bye.